Americans need. WOKR-TV, Channel 13, Rochester, New York. Once upon a time, there were three little girls who went to the police academy. Two in Los Angeles. The other in San Francisco. And they were each assigned very hazardous duties. But I took them away from all that, and now they work for me. My name is Charlie. More than 600,000 people who bought the new Chevrolet during its very first year, thank you. You've made it the most popular car in America. For the rest of you, a simple reminder. With its advanced design, the new Chevrolet has more headroom, more rear seat legroom, more trunk room, and more. So drive it. The new Chevrolet. Now that's more like it. Weekends were made special friends weekends were made for Michelob it's the time to have that smooth and mellow beer it's Michelob yeah Michelob the beer that's as special as you want your weekend to be weekends were made for Michelob yeah father with pretense when everyone around us knows exactly what you are. But, uh, I love you. Of course you do, my pet. And cows have wings. I'm bored, desperately bored. 
Look, uh, it's something I've done. And what you do, darling, you do well enough. But then so do so many others. You know, I'm afraid it's time for one of us to run along. And since I live here... Now, wait a minute. It's not that easy. What about my boat? Your boat? Yeah. I'm going to lose it if you don't give me that loan. I mean, uh, you promised. Did I? Did I? Well, I say so many things when I'm feeling blue and in need of company. Look, you can't do this to me. You promised. I'm not one of your two-bit studs. That's exactly what you are. And if you think you're going to get more than nickels and dimes out of me, Danny, put that toy away. Everyone knows you carry it because you're a poor little bunny who's scared of the big bad world. You're not man enough to use it. You're wrong. Since it was built, I started as a secretary, worked my way up to manager. <laughs> a little late in life to be starting in my career, perhaps. I think it's lovely. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. I've enjoyed every minute of it until now. This wasn't the first time you'd been robbed, was it? No. There's been a series of jewel robberies in the marina area in the last two years. This is the third time the sea wave has been victimized. But it's the first time anyone's been killed. All the work of the same person? Charlie? Yes. Similar M.O.s in each case, Chris. But a uh, killing doesn't fit the pattern. But caught with his hand in the cookie jar, the burglar might have panicked. That's the way the police see it. The Sea Wave's a residential hotel, isn't it? Yes, that's right. We have several wealthy permanent tenants. Uh, we've even installed private safes in each suite for their valuables. Do you know how the burglar opens the safes? Well, nobody knows. It's no sign of forced entry. And the manufacturer claims they're uncrackable. We've tried changing the combinations on every safe after each robbery, and it doesn't slow down the burglar one bit. There aren't any clues at all? Well, he was seen running out the fire exit door shortly after the shot was heard, but not well enough to get a description. Sounds like he did panic. <sighs> oh, please, will you help me? The other tenants are threatening to leave. A scandal like this could close down the sea wave. It's my home. I wouldn't know what to do if that happened. Charlie? Does your hotel have any vacancies, Catherine? Well, yes, we do. You're about to have some very lovely new guests. They don't know you as I do. You wouldn't hurt anyone. No. I just rob people. <laughs> well, every boy must have his career. Well, you're not sorry, are you, that I put my talents to such profitable use? Oh, Kenny, how could I be? You're such a good son. You look after your mother very well. Realize you may be in some danger. The murderer knows you saw him. Well, I can't just run away, Mother. The police would find that highly suspicious. But I can go get the mail. You are Mr. 
Miss Devereaux? Uh, Kelly Devereaux, from New Orleans. Well, welcome to the Sea Wave Hotel. You're most kind. Our manager will show you to your room in just a moment. Thank you very much. Too difficult. Thank you. This way. The clientele here is not what it used to be. Everybody settled in? With great fanfare. <laughs> but the burglar can't be one of our guests. Well, maybe not, but whoever it is seems to know who might make likely victims, so that means there's somebody around here keeping an eye on things. It's so cold-blooded. Yes, it is. Do you remember seeing anyone with uh, Julie Redmond who wasn't a guest here? Yes. There's that sailing instructor, I think he calls himself. What's his name? Denny something. But Mrs. Redmond told me he only came to town a couple of months ago, so I don't think he could be the burglar. Well, wouldn't hurt to check him out. Is there anything else I can do? Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Now, the police think that the burglar picked the lock on Mrs. Redmond's apartment, don't they? Yes. The window in her bedroom was open, but her apartment's on an upper floor. What about the roof? Well, there's just one door to the roof, and I have the key right here in the office. Could I borrow it? I'd like to take a look around up there after everything's quieted down this evening. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I can't get 14 down. See you later. Oh, you will be careful, won't you? Oh, yes, ma'am. I got a guardian angel keeps an eye on me.
My gray hair made me feel so old. I felt like his grandma. Yeah, and she acted like it, too. I'm too young to look old. It's a good thing I found Loving Care. It's not like most hair colorings. It's gentler because it has no peroxide. Just wash away the gray and wash in my own natural color. Me gray, no way. Hey, Granny, what you doing tonight? Loving Care Color Lotion, only from Clairol. Cause you're too young to look old. What's the best reason to buy an antiperspirant? To help keep you dry. Which one keeps you drier? Tickle. Beautiful packages, different fragrances. Which one keeps you drier? Tickle. This fluorocarbon aerosol versus this big ball roll-on. Which one keeps you drier? Tickle. You'll love Tickle with its big wide ball. It keeps you drier than the leading spray. Thursday, the Sweat Hogs wake up 60 years later. I used to be so good looking. <laughs> then, there may be snow on the roof. I uh, don't trust myself. But there's still some fire in Fish's furnace. And... Barney's been shot. If he needs blood, I'm available. I'm also willing to donate certain organs. Oh, please, live it. <laughs> then on Carter Country, guess who's moving in next door to Jasper? Hi, After Carter, Fish, and Barney Miller. Watch tomorrow, starting at 8, 7 Central and Mountain, right here on ABC. <laughs> All of a sudden, a murder, then an attempted murder, one right after the other. Yes, and don't forget the attempted decapitation of yours truly. Charlie, did you read the police report on the Redmond case? Yes, I did. Well, you remember when she was found, she was wearing an expensive diamond bracelet? Why did the burglar bother to clean out the safe and then leave the bracelet? Well, he probably knew that shot had been heard. Maybe he didn't have time. To pull a bracelet off her wrist? Well... Now, listen, there's something else. The security guard saw him escaping out a fire door, but if he'd used a rope to climb down from the roof, he'd have had to abandon it still tied there. The police looked. No rope. What's your theory, Sabrina? I think there were two people in the apartment besides the victim. And the burglar went back the way he arrived, up the rope. Which means somebody else went out the fire door. It's the only thing that makes sense. Well, that would explain the thief's M.O. changing so suddenly. Sure, it's mystery man number two who's so deadly. Yeah, but what does that do to our plan for catching the thief? Never fear, Bosley. I'll bet Sabrina's thinking the same thing I am. Right, Charlie. If you're thinking that the burglar saw the killer, and the killer knows that. That's right. That's why he tried to kill you. He thought you were the cat burglar. Sure looks that way. So, nothing's really changed, Angels. To catch the murderer, we must still trap the thief. But there's one problem. What's that, Charlie? Do I dunk or not? I beg your pardon? I've just been served tea by my new English maid. Now, will she think I'm too vulgar if I dunk my crumpet in the tea? Only if you leave it there, Charlie. Goodbye, angels. Goodbye, Goodbye Charlie. Charlie.
Hey, shut down this sailor, Denny Rails back. Yeah. He's been in town about six months, lives on a boat that's mortgaged up to its gunnels. Oh, hey, uh, be careful, gentlemen. Charlie would hang us both from the nearest yard arm if anything happened to his Jay collection. You're right. Now, listen, after we make a grand entrance in there, I'm going to mingle a little bit. Oh, good. See if anybody shows any interest. Right. Then I'll check on some sailing lessons. Oh, yes. Bar, I shall see that your cases are securely tucked away in the safe. Thank you. You're most fair. welcome. Do you mean Jade, my dear? Oh, yeah, yeah, Jade. It's all I have to remind me of him. Oh, my dear. Come on over here and sit down and tell me all about it. Oh, I'm Mrs. Macklin. I'm a resident here, too. Oh, I'm very happy. <laughs> there, there. Oh. We were what so rich and happy. Ralph sell the tennis shoes all over. Now Ralph is gone only to Yade and I remain. He was the fourth. The fourth what? Husband. But the only one I love. I heard someone say that Mr. Bosley is an auctioneer. I am so poor now. Until I find my feet husband, what do I do? Well, I don't know. It's a problem I've never faced. <laughs> I must sell my yard. Mr. Bosley is the best. He gave a good price for me, yeah. Is the collection very valuable? Oh, yeah, yeah, many hundreds of thousands. I just love that yard. I don't blame you. Miss Deborah? Yes? I'm Ted Macklin, the Sea Wave Hotel's personal welcome wagon. May I sit down? All right. Are you here to give me uh, free coupons to local stores or restaurants? No, but I would be pleased to take you um, for an early dinner and a walk along the beach while the California sun is still high. Well, I... I... Please. Please, I know what it's like being alone in a new city. Here comes my mother. She can vouch for me. Mother. Hey, dear. I'd like you to meet uh, Miss... Miss Devereaux. Uh, Kelly. Mm. How do you do? Nice to know you. I'm sorry to interrupt. But would you think it too Freudian of me if I tried to steal my son away? Why, no, not at all. I was going to spend the next hour being so clever and charming you'd agree to have dinner with me. Can we pretend I was, and you will? <laughs> Let's pretend. About seven? If you make it six, we could go for a swim, see the sights, and then have dinner. All right. Six. Goodbye. Bye. Hello? Hello? Mr. Danny Reyes back? Yeah? Hello. I am on the Cobb Yarn Bar. I have come for the sailing lesson. Well, I uh, charge by the hour. Oh, that is no problem. No? Okay, then, uh, when do you want to start? Now. Sure, fine. <laughs> Home now. The 
Beach is a couple of blocks down. Uh, have you lived at the Seaway long? Five years. We moved in after my father died. Mother took it pretty hard. I, I didn't want to leave her alone. I see. That was very thoughtful of you. It's a good arrangement. We get along fine. She respects my privacy, and, and I respect hers. Thanks. Uh, no, 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 no. I guess I'm a little beat myself, that's all. Uh, tell me, what do you do for a living? As little as possible. Oh. No, no, actually, I, uh, I own a fairly large commodities brokerage. Well, now, I am impressed. Oh, well, my work has its ups and downs. But enough about me and my family. What about you and yours? Well, the Devereaux's have lived in New Orleans for generations. And I thought it was just about time one of us got out and saw something of the world. Good for you. <laughs> My mom and daddy were not pleased. You see, they want me married off and settled like all the other Devereaux women before me. Uh, I know what you mean. Old money, old traditions, it's the same in my family. It's difficult being independent sometimes. Yes, it is. Oh. <laughs> We should be getting back now. It's getting late. Delicate Southern Belle. You know how shiny nail color looks when it goes on wet? Now you can have that look, even when it's dry. CoverGirl creates nail slicks. Watch, I'm painting this nail with CoverGirl nail slicks. This one I painted over an hour ago. Look. No difference in the shine. And nail slicks protect nails, too. CoverGirl Nail Slicks. For color that looks wet, even when it's dry. Coming out of the rain, Willard. No, I don't like brand cereal. Better than catching cold. No, it isn't. This is Kellogg's Crackling brand. It's delicious. I don't like brand cereal. Oh, Willard. Oh, okay. I'll eat one if you do. Hey, let's get the milk. Mm -hmm. Kellogg's Cracklin' brand. High fiber, good taste. If you never liked brand, you like it. I like it. If you like brand, you'll love it. I love it. Kellogg's Cracklin' brand. Thursday, experience the many moods of Ben Vereen with Charlie's Angels, Cheryl Ladd. And Emmy winner, Lou Gossett. If it ain't got that swing. A unique look at a unique talent. Ben Vereen, his roots. Watch tomorrow at 10, 9 Central and Mountain, here on ABC. Charlie's Angels will return in a moment. Barbara Streisand, together, the way we were. Great rates. 
Manufacturers Hanover does have great rates. The highest interest rates allowed by law for commercial banks. On passbook savings, you can earn up to an annual yield of 6.66%, and you can deposit $25 or more at any time. We also offer certificates that earn up to an annual yield of 7.77%. Any catches? No. Federal regulations do require a substantial interest penalty for early withdrawal. Details at Manufacturers Hanover. Great rates. Great rates on loans, too. Martin Senor Paint. For years, decorators have specified it as one of the finest latex paints you can buy. More than 1,500 rich colors. A long-lasting, scrubbable finish. And now bold, bright, beautiful wallscape ideas. Free when you visit your Martin Senor paint dealer. If you want to buy one of America's best wall paints, why not buy the one with some of the best painting ideas? Martin Senor Paints. Available at Headlocks. WOKR-TV, Channel 13, Rochester, New York. Okay, fine. Thanks very much. Well, the car was stolen from a parking garage up the street. You think they were after you, Kelly? Well, I don't see how. Where's the motive? That leaves Macklin. And who would be the target of the killer? A cat burglar. Uh-huh. But why would he need to steal? The Macklins are loaded with money. Oh, no. Charlie did some checking. And the Macklin Commodity Brokerage went bankrupt two years ago. Oh, well. And right about then, the burglary started. Oh, it fits. Why is it every time I start to like a guy? You know what else fits? Denny the sailor man. When he took a look at Macklin, he almost fainted, and he couldn't get rid of me fast enough. Well, the man obviously has no taste. And he had time to steal a car and get to the beach. OK, then we have two strong suspects. Now all we need is the proof. Well, let's get some. Right. So, he missed. But he'll try again. I agree, but there are two reasons why I can't leave right now. Two? That jade could set us up in style. Time enough to get established somewhere else. And the other reason. Kelly. Uh, there's some mystery about her. I don't know, I can't explain it, but I've got to find out. You are a very weird boy. So you know me too well. Come on, you're gonna be late. I'll take this down. Teddy, take care. <laughs>
station owner $50 a month and uses the station as a changing room. No questions asked. She then goes to Swan Security Systems, where she is employed under her maiden name of Cooper. And she has access to the safe combinations. Yeah, not only that. When Seawave wants to change the combinations after each burglary, she is the one that's responsible. Hmm. Well, didn't Catherine Cahoon ever see her? Apparently not. See, the actual work was done by a salesperson and the technicians. I'm telling you, with a mother like that, Macklin could be the most in at burglar in history, and he'd still wind up with a fortune. I've made some inquiries. The Devereaux are listed in who's who, but no darling daughter, Kelly. I've been found out. Mm -hmm. So who are you, really? Here you go. Kelly King. The Chirondelet Museum, New Orleans. Ah, you're a buyer. Well, we were privately informed that Miss Beyond Barr wanted to sell her husband's collection. Well, I couldn't tell anyone the truth. I get it. You and that auctioneer character are putting one over on the Swedish starlet. Keeping the price low, and he gets a cut of the difference? Well, this is a wealthy area. Be one or two who might bid, but they'll have to drop out. Annika will be making lots of money, and we'll have the Jade Collection for a fraction of its real worth. That's pretty tricky. <laughs> Thank you. Tomorrow morning, armed guards will pick up the Jade from her safe. Everybody will be happy. Well, you won't be bidding, will you, Dad? Well, I'd truly like to mess up your little scheme, but no. No, I won't bid against you. You've got me under your spell. Besides, I don't bid for things I want. Well, it is time. Okay, now remember the plan, Bosley. Oh, it's very simple. Kelly is the high bidder at $150,000. Yeah. Now, watch the old silver tongue swing into action. Old silver tongue? Ladies and gentlemen, the bidding is now open, the bidding is open. What am I bid? I, I, I do have an opening bid of $50,000, thank you. I have $50,000, do I hear 60? Do, oh, the very pretty lady bid $60,000, thank you. Uh, $70,000, I have $70,000, the bid is $70,000, do I hear 80? Do I hear, uh, that's a sneaky 80? I do have $80,000, I have 80, do I hear 90? $90,000 for this priceless collection. $90,000, thank you very much. $100,000, though we are rolling now. I have $100,000, do I hear 110? Do I hear 110 is bid? I have a bid of 120, I have 120. 120 is the bid. Do I hear 130? Do I hear 130? Too rich for the shy guy. All right, I have 130. Do I hear 130? I have 130. 130. 140. 140. 140,000 once. 140,000 twice. 150,000. Thank you very much. 150,000 once. 160,000. I have 160. Do I hear 170? Do I hear 170? Oh, dear. That's Samantha McKendrick. She owns half of Beverly Hills. Do I hear 170? 170! Always had a nose for bargains. Oh, Charlie, you kill us. 180! 190! I have 100 and... 200,000 dollars! Thank you very much! I have two, 210! 210! I have 210,000! 220,000! I have 220! 220! 220! 220! ability, Boz. You'll be rich in a week. I don't know what came over me. It was like a dream. Well, don't worry, Bosley. We're gonna get the jade back. I hope. Hey. 
Okay, look, it's about time we get into position. Now, Kelly made sure that Macklin knows the Jade leaves the safe tomorrow. That means he has to make his move tonight. Oh, Bosley. Hello? Oh. Left nine, right 52, left... Mother. Mother, I have it. Right. No, oh, don't work too late. Right. Right, I'll be careful. Bye-bye. <laughs> Yamaha, we don't just have a little test track out behind the factory. We also test our engineering ideas wherever they race motorcycles, from Carlsbad to Watkins Glen, from Daytona to Le Mans. In fact, Yamaha is the winningest racer in the world. And every time we race, we learn more about how to build you a better motorcycle. Say, hey, this gives me a real turn. It's Sears National Home and Hardware Sale. Save a bright $25 on a five-light crystal glass chandelier, an even brighter $40 on an eight-light bronze and crystal glass chandelier. There's an $80 savings on this Sears dishwasher with three-level wash system and pots and pan cycle. And save $35 on the Craftsman 12-inch gas chainsaw. Better get cotton to Sears National Home and Hardware Sale. Friday. Okay, kiddo, here comes the big one. The joy, the sharing, and riveting human drama of the all-new Having Babies. And tonight... You're a dangerous lady. A con woman uses Hutch as the bait in a million-dollar ripoff on Starsky and Hutch. Tonight. Dad left me in charge of the brokerage when he died five years ago. But, uh... Well, I couldn't make a go of it. And when it went under, mother got a job at Swan Security. I don't know, the idea just came so naturally, and it was my idea, not hers. I didn't talk you out of it. Swan Security installs safes and buildings all over the marina. So I just spaced my robberies out, setting each one up very carefully. Mother got me the combinations. Ah, it was so easy. Until you chose the wrong apartment. 
Oh, that's for sure. Julia Redmond's. I was in the bedroom, and I just opened the safe when I heard them come in. Julia and this guy. They quarreled. Oh, he must have been crazy to shoot somebody like that. What happened then? He came in the bedroom, and I was on my way up the rope, and I saw his face. And he saw yours? Yeah, but uh, what was I supposed to do? Go to the cops and explain that, uh, well, I just happened to be climbing by. <laughs> no, that might have aroused their suspicions. Yeah, they would have locked me up so fast I wouldn't have known what had happened. They would have charged me with murder, too. <sighs> oh, well. So much for old wealth. And old traditions. What will happen to Teddy now? Well, you're an accomplice, too, Mrs. Macklin. I don't care about myself. But I do care about my son. Well, Mrs. Macklin, we can, we can try to work something out with the DA. What? A possible reduced sentence for you and a possible suspended sentence for your mom, considering her age. Ah, uh, no offense. Uh, in return for what? Help us catch the murderer. With pleasure, but what jury would believe my testimony? Well, we have something else in mind. Hello. What are you doing here? I came to see you. Mm, more sailing lessons? Oh, you make fun of me because I don't have my sea legs yet. I don't see anything wrong with them. Thank you. I am so lonely now that my husband, Ralph, is gone. Yeah? Would you have lunch with me? Well, I don't know. I was thinking of taking the afternoon off, working my way up the coast to Frisco or something. Oh, please. I've been thinking about what you asked about her loan for this beautiful boat. Yeah? We could talk about it in my room. Over lunch. Okay. I guess Frisco can wait. Uh, how come you live here? At the Seaway. Oh, I like it. Don't you think it's nice? Oh, yeah, sure, it's nice. Why don't you call to room service? I will change. about you hanging outside that window like a big black spider. But no more. No more. You've got it all on tape in the room next door, blanks and all.
Charlie's Angels will return in a moment. I like to give 100% to whatever I do. And I like a soap that does, too. That's why I use Dial. Dial soap makes me feel 100% clean all over. And Dial's special deodorant protection lets me take that clean, fresh feeling into my day. I like feeling clean and fresh. And who knows more about that than Dial? Aren't you glad you use Dial? Aren't you glad? Oh, yeah. The new Glad two ply trash bag. One strong outer layer, one strong inner layer. Bonded together. Like a bag in a bag. Two mil thick, strong, puncture resistant. The new Glad two ply bag. Like a bag in a bag. Yes, thank you very much. Yes, goodbye. Well, Mr. Macklin, the police have agreed to escort you to the station in an unmarked car. Oh, thank you for that, my dear. Our neighbors will know soon enough what we have done. But if they were to see me in custody... That's all right, we understand. <laughs> Can I ask you one question? Sure. What's your real name? Garrett. Kelly Garrett. I'm sorry that things worked out the way they did. So am I. My son has always had bad luck with women. I can't tell you how happy I am. You've all done a wonderful job. Well, thank you very much. Hello? Bosley? truck outside. I come for my jade. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to show you something and you won't believe your eyes. First, I put a false eyelash on my left eye. What a hassle. But it looks terrific, doesn't it? Then on my right eye, all I used was new Maxi Thick Double Lash Mascara. Can you tell the difference? With Maxi Thick Mascara, I get big, fat, beautiful lashes without the hassle. Maxi Thick Double Lash Mascara, new from Maxi Cosmetics. You won't believe your eyes. Burgundy by any other name is not the same. Next time you wonder what wine to drink, think of Gallo Burgundy. Next on Charlie's Angels. Ladies, rule number one, every passenger is a king or queen. What the devil is... Hey, what's going on? No, not a king. Sabrina, can you hear me? Then you have to take over. I can't! You have to. Keep the wings level. Reverse thrust now. Let go, Kelly! Tons of fun on Saturday. The What's Happening gang is amazed when Dee visits a shrink. Followed by Operation Petticoat. Then, a double sailing of the love boat. Sunday night excitement. First, the Hardy Boys are trapped by a killer in King Tut's tomb. Then the saga of the McCain family continues on How the West Was Won. Stay tuned now for Starsky and Hutch, next here on ABC. Let me be something You wanna give me your head If I am your girlfriend I won't let go of your head Yeah, I'm disappointed Cause 
Cause you'll never see me I'm better than you think you 